Hello friends, welcome to Cloud Institution. So today we are going to see another important concept of EC2 instances. So how to copy files from one EC2 instance to another EC2 instance. Okay. So today we are going to create a two EC2 instances and we are going to see how are we going to copy the files from one EC2 instance to another EC2 instance. Okay. So let's dive into the demo. Okay. So now I'm going to the EC2 instance console. Okay. So I don't have an instance running as zero. Okay, so now I'm going to create a two instances. Okay, so instance one and instance two. So first I'm logging into the instance one and the second I'm going to log into the second instance two. And then I'm going to copy the files from one instance to another instance. Just to see how the, <coughs> the files is being copied from one instance to another instance. Okay, so now I'm going to, I'm going to do a launch instance now. Click on launch instance. Okay, so I'm going to create a server one. Okay, so our server icon one. Okay, so now I'm going to <coughs> choose Amazon Linux as the as my oper operating system. You can also use Ubuntu or Red Hat or anything if you wanted to have any other Linux flavors. So now I'm just going with Linux, Amazon Linux, and then I'm going to use the instance type is going to be free tier eligible, and then the key pair. I'm going to create a new key pair. Okay, the keeper is going to be okay. Um, cloud hyphen institution hyphen um, copy. Okay, so this is the <coughs> this is the keeper because I wanted to we are we are going to copy the files so I'm going to name it as as a cloud institution hyphen copy is the keeper name and I'm going to use the dot pem file. So the reason why we are going to use dot pem file is that we're going to connect it from the Linux machine to Linux machine. Okay, so that is the reason why we're going to use dot pem file. Okay, so I'm going to use dot dot pem file. I'm going to create a key pair. Okay, now we have got the key pair downloaded. Okay, so now cloud institution copy is the key pair name, and I'm I'm going to leave you know all these things default. Okay, now we're not going to touch anything from here. So I'm going to use. <coughs> The basic basic network default network settings. You know, we have only one VPC, and I'm going to leave that VPC alone. So the very important thing is that allow SSH connection from the SSH traffic from anywhere, which means that I'm going to I'm going to <coughs> enable SSH traffic from the internet. Okay, so and then only we should be able to connect or copy or you know transfer any files from one machine to another machine. Okay, so now I'm just allowing SSH traffic from anywhere and I'm giving a storage configuration is going to be 8 by default I'm going to launch instance now okay so I just launched an instances so now I'm going to successfully launch it okay so so if you can go uh, okay this is my first instance okay so the server one so now I'm going to create another instance also okay so that is going to be server two Okay, so the server icon 2. Okay, so now I'm going to use Amazon Linux machine, Linux image, and the instance type is going to be t2.micro, the free tire again. So the key pair login is going to be, I'm not going to, I'm not going to choose and create a new key pair. Okay, I'm going to choose the key pair, which has already been copied, already been created. So cloud institution copy is the key pair, which I'm going to use it for both the instances, you know. It is up to you if you wanted to create some kind of a new key pair, but I'm going to use the same key pair for both instances. So rest everything is same, you know. So here also I'm allowing this uh, SSH traffic from anywhere, okay. So you can also choose the existing existing you know security group whatever has been already been used for your uh, uh, the previous um, you know instances, you know. So but it it, uh, it doesn't matter much. So I'm going to create a new SSH uh, security groups. So I'm going to configure 8 GB for this machine. That is enough for me. And I'm going to launch instance. Okay, now I have launched instances. Okay, so now if you can go to instances now. So if you can go and running instances. Okay, now I have server two and, uh, and server one. Okay, these two instances are currently we have created, right? So <clears throat> both instances are running now. Now I'm going to connect two instances in parallel. Okay, so now I'm going to connect 
first instance okay so i'm going to connect like this one <clears throat> the server one is here okay you can, as you can see the name this server is going to be a server one okay so now i'm going to connect to the server two also now so now i deselect that one and i'm going to select the server two the server two is going to be a this one okay so now i'm clicking on this one and this one is going to create the server two okay as you can see here the server two is there okay so okay so i think it's failed um i think it may take some time maybe let's refresh okay i think it is taking it's taking a little bit of time you know i'm closing it i'm going to um connect it again because just now it's got created okay so now it's connected right so now i'm going to choose like you know so server one is here server two is over here so now what are we going to do now is that you know so i'm going to create some files over here and i'm going to copy that files to the server two okay so this is server one i'm going to create some files and i'm going to copy that file to the server two using ssh okay so now let's get started how to how to copy the files so in order to copy that files you should be having you know so the pem file so we already seen in our previous session that we have to use the pem file in order to connect to your instances using ssh okay now what are we going to do now is that you know we are going to do a scp you know the, the command which we are going to use is that you know scp okay the scp what is scp you know scp command is one of the ssh command so scp is the secure copy command you know so this is kind of a like it is used to it's, it's, it's used to um, copy the files over the internet securely okay so now if you want to do if you want to do this one you should be having the ssh port to be enabled for this one okay so now what are what i have to do uh, with this one is that you know we have to copy the you no know, we have to copy the pem file whatever we have downloaded okay so now i'm going to the terminal okay i'm going to the terminal so now i'm going to check okay i'm, I'm already in a download folder right so we are going to take this uh, cloud institution copy dot pem file okay so we have to see the content of this file what we can do is we are going to see the content so content will be vi cloud institution cloud iphone institution copy dot pem okay so this is the pem file what we have it here so if you wanted to if you wanted to copy from you know if you wanted to ssh from this machine to that that machine we need this pem file okay so i'm going to copy this pem file i'm going here i'm going to do a vi and <clears throat> um like i'm just giving uh like key dot pem okay so that key name the name can be anything if it, it, it is not necessary that you know that key name has to be matching with the the file name of this file name file name of this pem file which is created you know so there is no there is no necessary for that so we are going to create a key file called key.pem and just paste this one here okay now we have pasted it over here now we are going to copy and paste and save the bucket okay so now what have to do um, as we have we as we have seen in the previous sessions that we have to go and do a ch mod ch mod plus x and key dot pem okay so we have to we have to grant the permission sorry uh not plus x uh it's going to be 400 okay so the plus x is going to be like execute permission for the script thread so what you have to do for the pem file is that one so you have to go and give 400 key dot pem file okay now i've given the key dot pem file so now i'm going to create some files okay as you can see here i let's go to the server 2 and go to the 
go to the slash temp folder okay so there is we have this this many files and folders are there okay so let's create let's create some files over here then we can let's copy those files to this remote location okay so now i'm going to create some file okay touch one dot txt and two dot txt and three dot txt okay so now i'm going to create three files you know the one dot txt two dot txt and three dot txt okay now i'm giving yes now as you can see i have one dot txt and two dot txt and three dot txt which has been copied okay now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to copy all these three files to the server 2 server 1 to 1 from from 1 server 1 to server 2 okay using scp command now i do scp iphan i so what is what is iphan i we have seen already so the key file the key file is going to be key dot pem and then the the username of this server is, is that going to be ec2 iphan user okay at the rate <coughs> okay at the rate the ip address of this machine okay ip address of this machine is going to be this one okay okay this one right so now what are we going to copy so what are the files we need to copy from here okay for example i'm going to copy the file called one.txt so now this is what the concept is going to be okay so scp is the command and the if and i okay is the key file and this is the source what is the source source is going to be this file what this and the destination so the destination is going to be a remote server okay so the ect user ec2 iphone user underscore or at the rate 65.2.150.131 and the colon slash okay slash tmp so which means that it's going to copy the 1.txt to the remote server okay so now i'm going to do this give enter so if i can give enter it's going to be like yes if i have to give a yes okay now it's been what has been telling is that 1.txt has been 100 percent copied now let's go to here and then just just go give ls As you can see here, there is 1.txt file is copied here. Okay. Similarly, we can copy uh, multiple files at the same time as well. Okay. Now 1.txt has been copied. Okay. Now what I'm going to do now is that we are going to do our 2.txt and 3.txt as well. Okay. So how this one is going to work is that it's going to it's going to it's going to think that you know so SCP. Okay. The secure copy with the if and i dot pem file. And the 2.txt is the source and 3.txt is also the source again and the destination so the the concept here is that you know so whatever the parameter which you're giving in the last that is going to be the destination okay so before that whatever you're going to give here that is going to be the source for you okay now i'm going to give the same thing here and if as you can see here there is 1.txt is the only one file is there now i'm going to copy this one now as you can see I've copied 2.txt and 3.txt as well. Okay, now if you see here, it's been copied 2.txt and 3.txt. Okay, so this is how you're going to copy from one machine to another machine. So for now, if I wanted to copy some files from here, you know, server 2 to server 1, what you have to do? So if you want to do the same thing, we need to have the same, the PEM file to be copied over here. Okay. We can just also we can also uh, kind of you know so use the same method to connect and then using scp command we can just copy the files okay so this is how you're going to copy the files from one machine to another machine okay the server a server one to server two okay so that's all from this uh, session i hope you like this video so if you want, if you like to have more videos like this one, so please subscribe to our channel and just follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And so please reach out to us if you wanted to take up any kind of a cloud courses or Terraform, Kubernetes of some of the courses, whichever you like, we would like to, we would like to have you uh, enroll for these courses. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching guys and see you again in the next video.